I gotta be honest with y'all, this is my third time filming this video. First time I filmed it was actually in January and I hated the vibes, so I refilmed it in the beginning of February and then I got let go from my job. A lot of my goals for 2024 have completely changed and pretty much planning out the whole rest of my year is so different from what I initially thought. So I wanna sit down, replan my goals and chat about like what my goals are for 2024. I know I am so late. So this is initially what I had said in the original video. In January, I feel like that's not a good time for me to set goals and maybe you guys will relate to this but like I didn't get back from my traveling of seeing my mom and my in-laws until the 5th of January and then I was pretty much like working <laughs> back when I had a job and just kind of trying to get back on track so I wasn't really in like the headspace to set goals I was just trying to like get back into life then I like go got let go from my job I'm just now posting this but even if it's like almost March it is not too late you can always set quarterly goals you can set weekly goals monthly goals even if you get 90% through the year and you're like man I really want to change things up you can still do it so if you're like me and your life has been flipped upside down or you didn't originally set any goals let's go ahead and do it together first I'm just gonna kind of sit down and actually think and plan this out a little bit share with you some of my new ideas for 2024 I talked about it a little bit in my last video but we're gonna really dive in today uh, get my notion board going all that so let's get to planning I got all my new 2024 goals written down and I looked at my old 2024 goals, kind of compared. And now I kind of have a good idea of like how the year has gone so far and obviously reevaluating since I lost my job. So let's just kind of run through my goals. Um, I sectioned them into mind, body, work, and spirit. So starting with mind, I originally put to read 10 books, but I just started a book channel and I'm really motivated in reading. I'm in a huge series right now. I think I'm gonna read a lot more than that. So I'm still gonna keep it like light and easy, but 20 books and I'm sure I'm gonna exceed that. Uh, I also want to focus a lot on like friends and relationships. I've made, you know, some new friends since moving back to my hometown and I want to invest in those relationships and just continue to grow new friendships and work on the relationships I have. I also want to get better at like slowing down and having more of like a routine. Having a routine helps my brain so much because I'm very like scatterbrained all the time. Helps me to plan and have a notion board and have goals and kind of know what I'm what I'm going for and kind of have structure to my day. So now that I'm self-employed, I really want to have more structure to my day, but also not like overwork and hustle culture to burn out, you know? So just finding balance and then also less scrolling on social media. I feel like I've gotten a little bit better at this since I've picked up a reading again, but I'm still scrolling quite a bit and I want to combat that by spending more time doing the other things that I've set on the list. Next are my body goals. I do have a goal to lose weight this year. I have like a weight that I would like to be. I'm not going to share it, but working towards that goal slowly. I want to work out like three to five times a week, um, get like better about my eating because that's like the main problem. I've always been pretty active, but I overeat a lot and eat crap a lot. <laughs> so I've been doing that so far in February. It's going pretty good. I've lost a little bit of weight, but I want to keep pushing through and actually get into a good healthy routine, which one of the goals on the body is just get overall healthy, whatever that looks like. I'm on a bit of a fitness journey, so my exact goals might change but there you go and to drink two of my water bottles a day which I've been doing pretty good at February I know it's not like a ton of water it's like a total of maybe 65 ounces I'm on my second bottle for today but I have a really bad problem of not drinking water this kind of just goes into being overall healthy but I'm really working on it I don't know why drinking water seems like the worst thing to ever happen to me but I'm getting better this is kind of a body goal kind of a mind goal but go outside more it's already getting pretty nice outside I could definitely start doing outdoor walks or playing pickleball. I think it's just so good for me to get outside and in the summer when the pool's open now that I'm self-employed like I can just go to the pool and I literally might have a summer goal of spending one hour outside at the pool or like out tanning on my deck reading or whatever because one I love when I'm tan. I love when my freckles are popping. Everything's better in the summer when like I'm tan. I feel good. I've got that vitamin D like you can just see the glow. My skin is always really good in the summer like just everything's great in the summer honestly. So especially now that I don't live in like the nasty heat of Texas, I'm gonna soak up the summer. So I do wanna get outside more. It's just good for your brain too, honestly. I feel like y'all cannot, I feel like when I take off my glasses, this is more of like an intimate gathering. But when they're on, it's like, where is she looking? I don't know. These aren't even my real glasses. These are blue light glasses, but um, Okay, anyway, moving on. For work, as you guys know, I am kind of attempting to do full-time YouTube again, but I asked, I, I also 
have a business that I'm starting, so I'll talk about that in a second. But my main channel, I wanna post two to three times a week. Two, always three will be like extra. Um, this might get scaled back depending on how my business goes, but basically what you guys can expect from my channel is every Tuesday will be the weekly vlog from the week before. I love vlogs, so I'm just gonna keep doing weekly vlogs, fun things I do on the weekend, all that. Post them on Tuesday between like two to 6 p.m. And then on Thursdays, I'll be doing just like, whether it's a sit down video or I'm doing some sort of like challenge or trying new things or whatever that video is, it's not a vlog, will be on Thursdays, same time period. And then if I have an extra video, like the one you're watching right now, it'll go up on Saturdays, probably more like 10 a.m. And then I also have my second channel, my book channel that I literally just started. There is one video on there right now and it used to be, well, just go watch the video. But I actually this week was filming a little challenge for my book reading video, I'm currently doing reading all of Throne of Glass. I'm gonna put it into one big video. I'm gonna do like all my favorite books I'm gonna do reviews on. Just like fun little chatty, like probably not as much like crazy editing in that. Kind of fun chatty videos, uh, book stuff over there. So if you are interested in that, go subscribe, I'll link it below. Um, and then I want to get my business kind of like up and running here by like March, April at the absolute latest, but I wanna get my first client maybe in March. <sighs> I'm like stressed but excited about it. I've never actually like had my own business before. Technically, having a YouTube channel is running your own business. Like you pay your own taxes, you're 1099. There's like several different aspects of how you make money on YouTube. As you guys know, you've heard it a million times. Affiliate links, brand deals, YouTube AdSense, all that. So it is a business, but that's different than working with like a client. So I'm gonna start my own social media management business for local businesses. I've been doing a ton of research on this and kind of working on the back end of like the business side of it to get it going, setting my pricing, all that stuff. I don't know how much I'll talk about it on this channel, but it's kind of something I want to do to where like maybe half my time is spent on my YouTube influencer stuff and then the other half is like my social media management stuff. And so I want to have a goal by the end of the year to have like four clients. I watched like literally hours and hours and hours of videos of other people who do have their own social media management business and I'm like, I could totally do that. And that's literally what I did at my last job. So I'm just taking the skill set and everything that I, I learned at my corporate job, I'm gonna apply it to my own business. And I've always loved the idea of working with local businesses and being part of like the local business community, which is like, this is just another reason why I'm like, God totally knew what he was doing when he said to move back to Missouri. Cause I have so many connections here. My dad is already like, yeah, I have like four people who have asked if they would do, if you would do their social media because like he'll he's a landlord or commercial property owner or whatever so when he gets bit literally he has businesses rent from him and then they'll be like yeah da, da, da. and he's like oh my daughter does that she would probably do it for you so I yeah I just have a lot of connections and there's no reason not to take advantage of that not like take advantage but like but like take advantage you know so wish me luck in that I'm very nervous and for some reason I feel completely incapable even though it's almost like what I do for a living and have since I was like 16 but I'm still nervous <laughs> cool um really strange about that one to be honest <laughs> okay anyway I'm feeling hot thinking about it but also excited and then my last goals are kind of like my spiritual goals which is just having daily time with God and to join a Bible study I haven't joined one since I moved from Texas I loved my Bible study there but me and my husband found a home church we've been going to class so we kind of wanted to start to get more involved and hopefully like join their weekly Bible study or go to like I want to go join like a women's Bible study maybe at another church at my church whatever I just want to get a little bit more involved with like the church community here and daily time with God, whether that's reading my Bible, praying, worshiping, all three, hopefully. But yeah, I just need to get better about that. <laughs> and then um, just finding balance and routine is like my overall 2024 goal is just like, what's next? What's my balance? What's my routine? What does my life really look like? I gotta be honest with y'all, I really don't wanna get another job. So whether I'm doing YouTube full-time, running this business full-time, or finding some sort of avenue to like be self-employed, the more like research I've done, on owning your own business, being self-employed. Like it used to really scare me, especially like taxes and the legal side of it. But I feel so much more prepped and ready to go with like my experience working in the corporate world, my experience before being self-employed. And I feel like I have a lot more like, I don't know, intelligence or knowledge to be able to tackle it this time around. And I'm very excited for that to be like the what I do. And I'm so thankful that A, I have YouTube to like, oh, I can fall back on YouTube. And I said this in my last video, but that's just wild. So thank you guys so much for supporting and subscribing and watching. And then also I'm married and my spouse has
has a job that would cover the bills. We definitely are like on a big budget right now until I start making money again with like YouTube or my business, but luckily he has a good job. So I love my husband, shout out to him for being the breadwinner right now. And hopefully I can start contributing soon. <laughs> but that being said, those are my 2024 goals. Something that I talked about in the first time I filmed this video was I bought this planner once again before I got let go from my job. And I just love this planner. Y'all saw it in my um, like week leave vlog of my first week unemployed or whatever, but I really like the way it's set out. You have your to-do list, your priorities, your weekly focus, notes, habits, and then each day. So I've actually been using this every day since I got it and I'm really loving it. So I'm gonna keep filling this out for the week. And then I started a Notion board. I'm kind of new to Notion. I actually used Notion at my corporate job, which is kind of how I know about it, but I still, am I the only one who gets really confused about how to actually use it? Cause like, what do you mean? I can just make a Notion board about anything. So. I'm gonna get a Notion board going for my business. I have my YouTube Notion board going. I need like a life Notion board. So um, if y'all have like a good YouTuber who loves Notion, does Notion tutorials, tutori tutorials, and like can actually explain how to build your own Notion, like yes, a template is great, but a template can only do so much. I want someone to explain to me, how do I make a good Notion? So if you have someone good, please let me know, link the video, whatever. I guess I could do that research on my own, but yeah, I wanna get things going. Since I'm trying to figure out how Notion works, I won't bore you guys with trying to show you a messy Notion. So this might be the end of the video. Now that it's been a little bit and I'm kind of planning and making my next decisions in life, I honestly think it was a huge blessing in disguise that I got let go from my job. I would have never pursued my own business or content creation as hard as I am now. And I would have, I just wouldn't have quit my job. I just wouldn't have. Like I, that's, I'm not a quitter. So like that would be really hard for me to quit. And I'm kind of stubborn when it comes to that. So I almost feel like it was totally God's plan. Obviously everything's God's plan, but it was totally meant to be and I feel like I'm so much more like free and happy even if I'm not making as much money right now hopefully I will make more money soon but I just feel so confident and like sure of my decisions going forward now and feel more like myself so shout out to my job for firing me honestly or letting me go I don't it wasn't like a firing it was more like a layoff situation but and worst case scenario even though I'd hate it get another job always got always got that option this is what I'm trying to do in 2024 also I feel like I can enjoy Enjoy life more that I'm not like at a nine to five every day. It just feels very freeing, but also scary, but like good. I don't know. It's like a really weird feeling right now. But thank you guys for watching my video and my third time filming it. Hopefully it went well and I don't refilm it again. If you're watching this, yay, it finally happened. I'm getting the video posted. And the next video I see you guys in will be the next vlog, which is also my brother's birthday. So hopefully we're doing fun stuff. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.